I am a sculptor with a focus on the human form, so I sculpt originally in clay. And my primary focus when I'm sculpting is to get like the essence of a person, the, the soul of the person, and not, not a perfect person, but like a um, the soul coming out in the gesture, the way they hold their hands, the way their clothes fall, um, all of that is really um, what we are drawn to when we see a work of art and what I am looking to create when I um, look for a, a finished work as I am honing in from beginning with just a general gesture. And this is my passion and that is the Gig Harbor Film Festival. I love it because it gives an opportunity for young filmmakers to bring in their treasured work. And we show and screen films, documentaries, full features, shorts, and it's a great way for our beautiful Gig Harbor to bring awareness. I'm a writer, and I'm also now a publisher. I'm a writer because it's the best way to live in a fantasy world that I've ever found. I've been writing all my life, and was lucky enough to start getting published. And now I'm a publisher of other people's work as well as my own because I think everyone that spends time writing and developing characters and developing a storyline deserves to have their work in print. With this press that's available to people in Gig Harbor. I started when I was just about five and my mother said, I'm going to take you to a ballet class. I had no idea what ballet was. I pictured a big ballroom with a balcony and I'd be dancing with voice. And so I got there and here's this little studio with this wonderful lady, very small class. I absolutely loved it. I didn't have any of the proper clothing. I don't know if my mother knew what it was. <laughs> so I kept dancing and um, when I started having to be there five, six, seven days a week, my parents begged me to stop. Probably one of the only times I just outright defied them. They even had the minister of our church come and talk to me about Sunday rehearsals and not being at church with my family. And he left the kitchen where we'd been talking and told my parents, you, you have to let her do this. My passion is, is working with kids, singing with kids. Uh, they write poems a lot for me, like cooperative poems, dealing with environment, self-esteem, world peace, all, all the really good things. And then I turn them into songs and they light up, I light up. We sing and dance together. I mean, it's, it's a magic thing. It's like a calling. From my early childhood, as long as I can remember, I've always loved art and making my mark on the page. And I have probably tried almost every media there is. And it's only recently, say the last 10 years, that I found pastels and it gives me that that joy of color uh, and just the vibrancy that I've craved. It's very gestural. It um, can overlay to be more painterly, giving me just a new dimension to what I'm doing. And it actually helps me identify my form and really impact the way the light follows the form in the landscape. Music has always grabbed me, grabbed me right from the very, very beginning. My parents tell me stories of standing in front of the radio and, and directing the music. And uh, when I was in eighth grade, I had a chance to direct an orchestra for the first time. And right from that experience, I decided I wanted to give this to as many people as I possibly could. Well, I'm a quilter and uh, my quilting is my art, it's my passion, I love it. I'm a quilt historian, I collect antique quilts, and I lecture on antique quilts to women's groups, mother-daughter teas, museums, because I want the young people coming up to understand the value of the art of the women that came before. I love video art, I love mixing video together, and I love broadcast video. Um, it gives me the potential to express myself while also entertaining people, educating people, and I love collaborating with other artists. I love working with musicians. So when I was about seven years old, I started getting really intensely interested in uh, television broadcast industry, and I was um, actually making little shows in my neighborhood and kind of broadcasting them to the, the neighborhood. I remember Helen Hayes saying once in an interview, 
I feel confused by life. I prefer to live within the confines of the theater. And I think that that's the way a lot of theater artists feel. We come together and we create a world within a world. And in our attempt to explore truth in storytelling, we immerse ourselves in the history and the politics, the manners, the costume, the hair of a certain time. And we wrap that up in a bow with the help of our technical artists, the set designers, the sound people. Theater is a wonderful world to live in. I love it. Theater is everything. I think it's really important to have a galvanized, solid arts community. Art in general has been an important part of our human existence from the very beginning. What I love and thrive off is other artists and that contributes to your work, to their work, and in the end you, you have better works being created throughout the community. The community builds art together and shares art together. They, they create what is our time period. That is, is what we look for when we look at the Renaissance, when we look at any time period. We're looking for the artists that were associated with the other artists, and that is defining the community. Without art, our life and our environment would be so mundane and dull. All of the arts are connected, and share so many of the same magical qualities and they do unite people. And there were groups I never even imagined existed and upon meeting them immediately sparks began to fly. And to have a place where everybody can come together and where we can all share in what we're creating and share that with the community. It also affords us the opportunity to collaborate with each other and create original work. We have a huge amount of local talent. They'd have something to get all plug into. I mean, if something were happening over here, maybe something over here could bounce into it. For instance, the cover on this book was done by a local artist. She read the manuscript and then painted the, the cover for this. So there's a visual art. There's a written art. If someone that's a good reader would read one of these books aloud on tape or to an audience, there's the spoken word. Well, it's so important, especially in this area, because so many of the artists and, and creative people around here are kind of isolated. Instead of operating in an isolated way, we know what each other is doing. You know, what could the future be if we could get it together? I, I'm thrilled that this is going forward. Arts education is one of the fundamental things that we're lacking in this culture. I just think it would be a real anchor for cultural development, a wonderful draw, uh, just the heart of this community. We have such a great opportunity here. We will be able to bring in national and internationally renowned artists, not only to perform, but also to teach and do symposiums. And we could bring in names jazz, classical, rock. It is going to be huge and it's going to go way beyond just Gig Harbor and the peninsula. Here we have in Gig Harbor an upcoming 90,000 some odd square feet building. There will be so many different spaces to use. There will be broadcast and recording studio and four theaters and a dance studio. This new center is going to become a hub work of cooperation. We can give Gig Harbor another reason to be a destination. It's going to be an explosion of arts. A center of bustling arts activity. There's a lot of seniors in this area that are looking for activities and things to go do and what a what better place than to come down to the art center and check out what things are being produced live. People coming going into theater don't generally just chat with everyone around them when they're coming out of the theater, whether it's live theater or film, they're talking to strangers because they have just shared this wonderful thing. This regional arts center in Gig Harbor is poised to become the crown jewel of the Northwest. It will bring positive awareness to the community, but also it will bring retail sales, which is important for all of us. So it, it is going to be something that will be a real economic driver for our area. Come be a part of something really magical happening.
This is going to bring a landmark to our beautiful community, and I think we all have to support it because, my friend, it does take a harbor. To sculpt, to create, to use your hands. Filmmaking. Love it. Music. I'm a quiltaholic. Dance. 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 Creative movement, songwriting, collaboration, friendship. Writing. Publishing. Visual arts and arts education. Live video. Theater. <laughs>